Distortion. On this podcast, I'll be talking to the best up and coming independent artists and bands. I am your host, Daniel Kirk. My guests this week are Maverick. Welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. Would you like to go around the room? (laughs) (laughs) Would you like to go around the room and introduce yourselves? My name is Adam. (laughs) My name is Lewis. I'm Lee Singer. And my name's James. I play drums. My name's Adam, and I play lead guitar. The first Adam was a bass player. Yeah. So yeah, we have Adam number one, Adam number two. Yeah, yeah. we just call him Pollard and Vine. Like, yeah. yeah, okay. That makes sense. So where are you guys all from and how did the band come together? I kind of just like always had songs and stuff. Right? I kind of like looked for the best people I could find. Oh, God. I found look, look, look for him and... <laughs> you settled with these yeah. ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've settled with these ones, yeah, yeah. You went to quite a few... Well, you went to like three schools and found um, us yeah. all from there. <laughs> yeah. So, so the first school was... Was that hard. deliberate or... No, you just think that was child. a good... He <laughs> <laughs> didn't get kicked out, he got asked to leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I remember you, uh, you you flipped off the head teacher as you left and then... Um, when he came to my school, we got a new head teacher, and it was his old teacher. Oh, man. <laughs> that, yeah, that, that, that was bad. Right. <laughs> that was all good. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I found him in a Storm Dreamer band. That was called Storm Dreamer. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a genre. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool band name. Yeah, and I found really these other two. It, cool. it was so easy to manipulate. I just got uh, the band. We kept being called Wet Dreamer, Storm Fuckers. <laughs> Storm <laughs> Storm Dreamer. It's not as good as King Storm Crab, Creamer. But... <laughs> King Crab <laughs> was great. <laughs> So you guys are all from like the Cambridge shit? Yeah, yeah, Histon, yeah. Trumpington. Well, he's like, the only one who lives in Cambridge. I live, yeah. I live in Trumpington. Trumpington. We're all in the outskirts. Yeah. yeah, we're pretty much in Cool, cool. So where did the name Maverick come from? I don't even know. Someone's it asked. was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a shit name. We're changing it. We don't know what to yet. Well, we just let's not bring it up. That we just. Okay, this gonna, is a very sensitive topic. How many topic, times have we it? said we're going to change this it? This time, after we released our last EP in November. We decided, right, before summer, we're going to change a name. We're going to set this November as a deadline, just get a new name, so we can gig under a new name this summer and get loads of stuff done. And then uh, <laughs> no we one were like, actually, <laughs> actually, let's not do that. <laughs> so we're like, okay, let's not do that. We keep the name Maverick. And then we're we're going to be Maverick forever. No and then we've just done the same thing this month. And we finally thought, okay, let's change a name. We, we thought we'd settled on one, we thought we'd settled on another, and then... We just decided not to again. For some reason, which means we haven't got any merch and stuff made because we don't know what we're going to keep the name. I mean, we've got wristbands. We've got wristbands. <laughs> <laughs> and okay, do we give out for free? Yeah. So we make loads of money. Can I make a suggestion for a band name? Is it King Crab? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's do it. I think it's available. <laughs> Snap it up. Oh, yes. Just imagine the merch you could do yeah. with with that. King Crab. It's better than Maverick Wolf. What uh, is the whole yeah. thing? We also went for a phase yeah, of reimagining the name Maverick. So we can Maverick, keep, we like, had Maverick the whole 9. Marketing. Yeah, the <laughs> Maverick, previously Maverick. There was Maverick with like just a K instead of CK. Mm. There was like Monster Maverick that your dad <laughs> <Yeah>. came <laughs> God, that was nice. We should have done that one. 
Anyway, you've gone through <laughs> lots of bad names. <laughs> My favourite. But you're is. but you're sticking with Maverick. For well, the moment. we don't know. Who knows? <laughs> we can't actually. Yeah. Apparently, apparently I just can't be asked to change it. Can't forget my names. I'm still I thought like four pages worth, and everyone's oh, my like, favourite nah. still psychedelic lolly fuckers. That was the one that was up there. <laughs> but they didn't really go for it. Yeah. Well, it's not very radio friendly, is it? Yeah. Not gonna... yeah. Unless you yeah, local distortion. Yeah, yeah. 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 still all our stuff on local distortion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. He knows. <laughs> so let's talk about bands and artists that inspire you as people. <laughs> Randy Rose. <laughs> 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 Randy <Ryan>. Rose. <laughs> <laughs> or do you want to do each other's and see if they're right? Yeah, uh, so yeah, I, let's all do James. You can never get a read on uh, James, uh, James, Arctic Monkeys. You keep Monkeys. trying to put me in a box. Arctic, white Stripes. White Stripes. Uh, um, white Stripes is inspiration for drumming. Indie. Yeah, White Stripes. <laughs> <laughs> that would explain <laughs> a lot. <Yeah. laughs> Meg um, White is inspiration. Was it The Strokes? You love the strokes. I love the strokes. Too. You love the strokes. I hate the strokes. <laughs> um, Fratellis. You... Okay, I saw them live once and yeah. I have one t-shirt. I, I like Fratellis, all right. Hey, Adam Vining likes Guns N' Roses. <laughs> oh, Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Gamelam. Gamelam. I, I love Gamelam. Wild Man Fisher. I can listen to anything. Put anything on and I can listen to it. Well, that's okay. <laughs> I'm telling you. No, but, but can't but, everyone do that? Well, yeah, technically. Exactly. <laughs> not, not the he can enjoy it. He can, can enjoy Okay, is that what you mean? I you can, can enjoy to, everything. I can enjoy everything. Okay, no, but. Yeah. And Paul, I just like that. They have, Randy a really, Rhodes. they have a really bad idea of what I listen to. Right. He, he listens okay. to Cannibal, Cor- listen to Cannibal right. Corpse. Cannibal Corpse. I like. Mm. Okay. So, <laughs> everything they're about to say, I do like. But it's not all I listen to. Metallica. <laughs> Metallica. Metallica. Metallica, mostly. Randy he actually Rhodes. ruined our last EP by listening to Metallica. <laughs> <laughs> we were, we'd, we'd be standing there, like, in between takes, and he'd just be, you know, noodling and playing, like, Metallica. Home so he produced us to sound like um, Metallica. Yeah. And he, at the end, you were like, oh, why have you mixed it like that? It was like, oh, because I thought you were like that. Like Metallica. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, no, they just don't stop playing. <laughs> no, but really, our, like, actual influences as a band are quite... Oh, yeah. are quite King Crimson, yeah. Pink Floyd, Beatles, like in the melodies, not in like, the actual <coughs> yeah. heaviness. And Nick Cave, Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath. Yeah. Recently, yeah. it's become a lot more experimental as well. Like working on our like live performances, we're doing stuff like it's really like a bit Miles Davis. Um, just sort of like not. We're not <laughs> doing like <laughs> we're getting we're like, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. working yeah. sort of aspects <laughs> of experimental stuff in. Adding a bit of improvising and stuff in, you know. Yeah, just stuff like that. Right. So let's go all the way back to probably a year ago two years ago for you when you bought your first CD because you're all quite young yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is with your own money right. not, yeah with, with your pocket money the first CD I ever bought yeah. for myself Pirate Bay yeah, why you? No, but surely you must have brought uh, one. No. It's probably in <laughs> utero. The first utero CD I actually bought. bought for myself with my own money was American Idiot I'm great. <laughs> But in my defence, oh, yeah. in my defence, I was eleven years old. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah so last week. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was my birthday. Actually, no. So yours was Nirvana. Yeah, in utero. Okay. Can anyone top that? No. Uh, do you no. Know? I don't know. What I was actually, your first illegal download? My first illegal download. Oh, you don't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking yeah. about videos here. We're talking about Dark web. <laughs> um, oh, probably just Beatles. I'd just say, like, one of the early... Be- oh, yeah, I know, I know what I did. I got all the, when I was about 10, all the Beatles albums out of the library. Mm. I didn't return them back to the library. <laughs> because I meant to, but I took all them out, and I listened to them non-stop for about two years. Two wow. years non-stop listening to those albums. So. I just want to clarify, American Idiot wasn't the only, like, CD yeah, I yeah, yeah. I had, it, it was I the first one. Yeah. It was the first It wasn't one. the first one. It, like, my dad gave me a load of CDs, because he's a hoarder. Um, so he gave me, like... White Stripes, Foo Fighters, there was loads, so it's not just that. I want to make that clear that I'm... <laughs> James, you are the most basic <laughs> bitch out the whole <laughs> I know. You don't know me, mate. Your rep has just gone yeah, way down. Just... <laughs> <laughs> he had no rep. <laughs> you haven't said yours yet? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's because he's... On, no, honestly, I don't remember my first one that I bought, but I remember when I was younger, my dad would play, like, Electric Light Orchestra, um, <laughs> Fat Boy Slim, <laughs> like Green Day, American Idiot. Yeah. Honestly, I can imagine you listen to this, Mr. Blue Sky. I love that song. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That definitely comes through with your yeah. with your guitar playing. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah, Randy Rhodes licks. Yeah. Yeah. We still haven't clarified why you, you like Randy Rhodes so much. Yeah. I don't know. He's good. What's the deal? <laughs> It's bass playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great bassist. 
Right, let's talk about your debut EP, Uneasy Why? Seasons. <laughs> <laughs> Can we skip this question? <laughs> you can't. <laughs> All right, basically... <laughs> We well, we recorded it and we kind of we can't we've just changed so much since then it's kind of yeah. hard to look back on it I mean hasn't it kind of captured what we were doing at the time but also, wasn't that like two months ago? No, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's literally it's almost are those songs like old. really really old then? Oh, the, well, yeah, I kinda, <laughs> well, all our songs are like they are because I wrote them like these those songs that like, the summer before and when I wrote that the EP like, no, 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 when we record when we record yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I pointed by the way anyway, <laughs> audio description yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, when I um when we went to record it I already wrote some of the songs that we're playing now so kind yeah. of always like, a bit like we have to teach the songs but I mean that EP I, I wasn't really that like we, I like Chris I mean I liked what he did and stuff but I, I just you know it just wasn't it wasn't really like there wasn't enough time to do the songs that's yeah we only had like yeah, we, we only what's it? yeah four days no we we did the drums in two days yeah, and we only had like five days in. No, there, like, no, it, it took it took seven days to do the drums. Oh my god, <laughs> I wasn't a very experienced. Seven drummer. days okay, of editing the bass well. drum in time. <laughs> and there was a click there as well. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> god, that was stressful. We didn't make you cry at one point, did we? No, I, I, think I was broken inside, inside long did. before I, I met you. <laughs> Damn it. You know, it's your my fault if he me. kills himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll gladly re- take that responsibility. <laughs> no, but we really do hate each other. Like yeah. quite a lot of the time, we just really hate no, each other. I don't hate these two. Let's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clarify that everyone hates me. Yeah. <laughs> they don't actually hate me. Yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, this band is fueled on hate. I mean, nice everyone thing. hates each other a little bit. Yeah, but that's what the best bands do, isn't it? Mm. They all just can't stand each other. But they yeah. just continue to play because they write the best music that way. We get money. If you all like each other, you'd sound shit. So. <laughs> and I couldn't like. <laughs> you just write all this happy yeah. music, and no one would want to listen to that. So. Oh yeah, the re- the reason that James isn't just like a weirdo is just the fact that like in in, <laughs> the, in this band, yeah, like the majority of people. No, yeah, this is this yeah. is. Well, I'm the weirdo because I'm the normal one by normal society <laughs> standards. Like I'm normal. I have a job. I like I have to talk to people without having a breakdown. And then these three just start like <laughs> screaming and like saying the weirdest. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm the weirdo because, like, relative to them, I'm n- not normal. Because you're the minority. You're the so minority. I mean, in the I'm the overall, minority yeah. because I'm Isn't normal. Isn't that Green Day song? I don't know. <laughs> <So> <laughs> hang like the band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but all the artwork on the EP is has been shot in and around Blue Mind Studio for some reason. What? What is it? I so this is outside so the studio. Like a washing line. My mum took a picture of the washing, washing line. line. So this is outside the studio. Like, and also if you look on the on, on the back, you can see a. Uh, like an electricity line go up and then just disappear into the Photoshop, <laughs> and we yeah. paid good money. We we like fully paid for to have the cover commission uh, and artwork done. But who did it? Lucy's mum. <laughs> no, she it. didn't edit the. She, was, she didn't do the cloud um, editing. Was she it just took a picture Rose's. of the thing. <clears throat> so you know Richard Rose. Well, you might not. He's a big sound in the like up and coming music around Cambridge. Like he'd put some young performers. Oh, he does some really cool. Arms. Yeah. Anti-racism. He's, he's, yeah, he yeah, does love music. Yeah. Racism. He's a cool um, guy. He yeah. his brother. His brother. His brother did the in, in New York. New York. I mean, he did a good anyway, job. His brother, his brother, it, his brother just, did the covers and stuff for us. Just the cloud. Know. Just the yeah. cloud. That's the only thing. Yeah. I don't really care though. <laughs> that 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 EP's in the past. We'd like to forget about that. You know? <laughs> We've moved on. We're doing and new things. And it says Lewis Perrot and Maverick, which I don't like because I don't there's, know how that's lit for the fir- that There's never thirty really... other Mavericks on Spotify. That's the only thing that distinguishes all it. Are, all of them are like classic rock, like American. We needed this to be distinguished. <laughs> so I put my name on it with the with the. Are all the copies signed as well. Yeah, we can charge them. more if we sign them. It's pretty much a surprise oh, count. I thought I was special. Can you sign one? Clearly not. It's, a pro- a non-signed one it. is probably rarer than a signed one. Yeah. <laughs> a non-signed one will go for more money. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I thought doing a track commentary might be interesting. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yes. Wait, we comment on the track. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So you, you have a nice little description Wait. about each track. Do you want to play it? Oh, each track? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just talk about it. Oh, right. And then, like, yeah, once yeah. we've gone through <laughs> all six... Wait, can you pass me the thing? Yeah, so you, can remember, <laughs> you can remember what they're called, yeah. All right. I wrote these ages ago. All right. <laughs> okay, number one. I need to remember what they're about. All right. Une- <laughs> Uneasy Seasons is about... Oh, there's, a, there's a big theme throughout it, which is about, like, um, power and abuse of power. And Changing the System is a song I can probably comment on best, but... Yeah, here's, here's the little lyric book we have. But <laughs> Wait, so which, what's each song about? Hmm. You Wait, do you want to play Chains in the System and I can talk about that? 
why play it? Why, yeah. Because we have, we have it in the studio. So, why play it? Yeah. You can just do it. Like, you can remember the song, can't you? Fine. I can, I can. We play it pretty much every gig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we played it for like the past year wait, and a half. Wait, wait. I have notes on this song. I made them, He's no, I made them on the way. I made them on the way in case I got asked. Because I wrote these songs ages ago, so I don't really like remember. Like, literally ages ago. Like, yeah, this is when he was... Coming out of the like wind. ten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, if you listen to, like, when we learn new songs, we listen to the, um, like, the original demos where Lewis records, like, in his room or whatever, and the vocals are, like... Squeaky. I can't... My voice can't go that high, but... I, it's, like, <laughs> high. Pre-pubescent vocals. <laughs> yeah. Anyway... What Change the System is about is it's about like how um you know everyone has jobs and you know everyone hates their job, don't they? Yeah. Like, there's no people who like I hate my job. Not even I like... hate doing this. <laughs> I can't stand it. Oh yeah, you have a pretty good job actually. Anyway. We no, know. I don't get paid for it though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's anyway, more of a hobby. <laughs> pe- people are doing jobs that they hate but to stay alive, but on the side they're not really able to live. Yeah, yeah. And then in their weekends they kinda of go off and they're kind of pacified by Snapchat, T V Instagram, all YouTube. that kind of stuff. Alco- alcohol, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, which kind of numbs them, and makes it so <laughs> so people can like um, I don't know, just so they're subdued, so they don't get all rioted up and start like stabbing people. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, and you know, and then after that, when they're out of their work, they're old pensioners in old people's home, like little potatoes, yeah, and, and they're they just, die, like, and they're just waiting, was, yeah, and they're waiting yeah. to die. So yeah. it's pretty just. It's a pretty depressing song. It's just about <clears throat> quite a lot of our songs are though. Yeah, they're, they're all they're all pretty depressing. Yeah, but yeah. like. That yeah. that shit is real. Like mm. that is happening. Yeah, yeah. I guess like, it's better than some plastic. It's kind of sounds. Really oh yeah, I hate. Up, it's kind I, of. I hate like plastic. James to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Green Day. Anyway, <laughs> 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 <Pretty> quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's part of the reason why I do this. Because I fucking hate my job. So. <laughs> <laughs> if someone could make this my job, then I could get paid for it. Um, yeah, that'd I'm be fairly, really nice. I'll mean, we'll be quite happy with that. <laughs> Buy my t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who wants to do no, track one? Because we kind of skipped that one. Track one. No one knows what it's Basically, about. Basically, I write all the songs, so no one knows okay. what it's so about. Well, yeah. so so right, fun. Okay. An easy season. So do you do I, like the the whole entire song so recent, structure as well? Yeah, yeah. Well, I do. I do all the stuff. I, I've actually mm. written like two songs of Adam Vining recently. Yeah, that's so coming out really it's, nice. It's yeah. it's, c- it's coming in, Wait, but I mean as. You don't know them yet. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll learn in like a year once you learn the other stuff. How does anyway. James know them then? He doesn't. No, you played me them though. I played them, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. You probably hate them. Yeah, probably. Anyway, we're just Not kind of. Metallica <laughs> Shall I read some lyrics from Uneasy Easy Season? Yeah. Go for it. Ah, God. I hate these. Is that one of them? When I think of you, everything seems small. <laughs> when I think of you, there's nothing there at all. Oh, this is so... I don't like these lyrics anymore, but... I mean, they're, they're <laughs> like my favourite right song. <laughs> but it's, it's very, All the people are filled with fear because they know it's that time of year. Come with me and you'll see the leaves fall off the holy tree. Dogs bark and eagles fly. Demons dark and lovers die. Killers killing for no reason. Welcome to the uneasy season. It's like death poetry. <laughs> de- de- <laughs> death poetry. Right. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that yeah, mean? Yeah, let's talk in a minute yeah. detail about what, exactly <laughs> Leaf, what it uh, means. Do you want to go into detail on, on each of the lines? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Each one. <laughs> English, All the people are filled with fear. Yeah, we get that, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> That's About pretty, falling off the edge it's pretty of the explicit. <laughs> Come with me and you'll see leaves fall off the holy trees. It's basically saying, like, you're going to see your the little thing you believe in torn to shreds because it's bullshit and, yeah, yeah whatever. See, that's what I'm after. Yeah. Stuff like and that. And then, mm-hmm. I, I honestly don't, I mean, as in some of this I just come up with and then I don't have, I don't ever put me into it. You just left it in it's just rhymes, a lot of <laughs> A lot of it is just like, killers kin of for no reason. It's just, I don't know, this kind of, kind of explains itself pretty much as it's just like, people are dicks, you know, <laughs> yeah. and they all have their religions and stuff and they just kill each other and it's just, it's just about that, really. It's, <laughs> all of them. <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> Have you seen your trousers? <laughs> yeah. Have you seen my trousers? Do you want to come and see his trousers? Yeah, come have a look. <laughs> He's got it to a T, isn't he? He's got it to a T. Yeah, yeah. What is he on? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, um... They're pretty nice trousers, aren't they? Yeah. Where are they from? <laughs> Charity shop. shop. We went, uh, <laughs> we were sick. We we're pretty much sick of Pollard dressing like uh, just man, every 16 year old person one. ever. So the show from uh, this He was just kind of just like, what you. So we went to a charity shop for a junction gig. <laughs> we went to every charity shop in Cambridge and we got. So what did we get you? We got you Dungarees. some cut off 
denim dungarees that are way too short. So you're dressing him now? Yeah, Yeah. because he's not. He can't be trusted to dress himself (laughs) because he wears the same fucking hoodie to every gig for a while. A hoodie to a gig. Yeah, well, you just <laughs> blasphemy. Anyway, basically, so we get him. We get him these these dungarees with ripped bottoms off. Some Renaissance shoes. Yeah, they're like Dr. Martins that have like an oil painting on them. It's got like some naked guy in it. It looks like it's got his dick out. It but definitely what? does. But he yeah. doesn't. He does. Yeah, it definitely does. Right. No, but anyway, and I want to see this. And the, yeah, the hat. Pitch. <laughs> yeah, show me the picture. The hat is great as well because the hat like the hat doesn't even fit. It, 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 yeah, <laughs> it's like a pink cowboy hat that's like it's rock solid. It's <laughs> it's like, like a glow in the dark hat that's all blue and basically it has a little rip out of it you can tell it's been in like lots of gay nightclubs and then <laughs> Al Pollard's wearing it he's probably bored to most of them <laughs> yeah, every, every now and again James says something funny yeah, yeah. Anything that stops what he does is quite <laughs> I want to see the picture of these. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> we uh, and we got all these clothes and we made them wear them to the junction gig. Apart from you, you forgot. Oh, this is actually I got a picture of Lewis at the corner house two weeks ago wearing <laughs> nice. the trousers and the uh, wow. the vest. What do you oh, yeah. say? I can't remember <clears throat> what you look like. <laughs> oh yeah, this is without the hat because he left he left it at home. Oh my he god. It. Yeah. And the plan wow. was him to not wear the shirt either. But let's see, let's see. But, um, so you wore that. The, the yeah, yeah. You can. There's, there's probably yeah, some. The, the, actually, there wasn't many. The guy who runs it said. You're not wearing that, are you? Yeah, yeah. no, we got the call. We were having some food and we had a discussion about this should get changed and we thought, you know, fuck that. Now, yeah. All the parents and all the old people were all like, that's it, Pollard can't do this anymore. He's, he's, he's gone too far, he can't wear this. And then we were literally Even like, though we made him. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. It was all our idea. And we all went and we were like, nah, you know what, we're going to make him wear dungarees on stage. And it, it was, and we, we didn't even have to make him that much. We, didn't, we literally yeah. just said, we're going to dress you and you have to wear whatever. And you're like, fine. Well, fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It was a fun experience. <laughs> so we didn't, everyone we should just come and see you <laughs> just to see what you're yeah. wearing. Yeah, pretty much. Just our music shit, I mean... but our performance. <laughs> 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 yeah, this... <laughs> just leave that one alone. <laughs> I love the guy back there. You just hear a little <laughs> laugh coming through. It's great. We might have confidence. to start kicking out individual members. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but James, we're the most indispensable. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I'm the most indispensable. Christ. Yep, I, I realised my indispensable. mistake. I realised my thank mistake. <laughs> I know I'm going to leave in that mistake. So you can be reminded <laughs> yeah. of that mistake. Please edit this really well. Thank you, I really appreciate yeah. that. I'll try. We love you, you, ever heard, you ever heard the phrase, polishing a turd? Mm. You, you can't? No, but you can roll yeah, in glitter. <laughs> 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 That's pretty much what we... <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, we kind of went off topic with the track commentary. Should we, we just play oh, a track? Yeah. Do you want to play a track? Yeah. yeah. We, this is the one we were talking about with the whole like monotony of everyday life. So I let's play that one. Yeah. yeah, this is like almost exactly. <laughs> That's our year. worst song. Though. <laughs> <laughs> we were, we yeah, we were like, oh, let's record like a classic rock song for some it, reason. It we didn't joke. even like it. Like in the studio, I was saying to Adam, I was like. Wait, does anyone in this band like this song? No. And everyone looks around and they're like, wait, you don't like this song? You don't like any of the songs. No. I remember I was, I, I was, I was driving, your dad was driving us two back and he said, so what do you think? Well, we, we just spent like all this month time raising money and we just spent like three days in the studio. You coming up with this? And he was like, um, so Paul, do you like any of the songs? And he was like, no. <laughs> Actually, butterflies are all right. And you said butterflies is sort of all right. And he thought, they are, but <laughs> this is <laughs> but what I thought. We we yeah, started, but did you really? You didn't pay that much for it, though. Did well, we we, free. we well we we pledged music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so you can't, get, you can't. We didn't put any of actual own money in, though. Yeah, you can't. We'd only been together like like four months until we. I mean, if you did pay for it, I'd say yeah, you did not get your money. <laughs> <laughs> Pollard is the band pessimist, <laughs> but he likes Randy Rhodes as his favorite bass player, so that was not natural. You should. I never said that. <laughs> you did. She We've did. got the video of you doing it on. on I didn't say on, it was my favourite bass. <laughs> I never you said, said what your influence. <laughs> what's your influence? What's your, influ- influ- uh, what's your most influential uh, um, bassist? And you said um, Randy Rhodes. Randy Rhodes is, and then we just started laughing too hard to let you say anything else. <laughs> if you go on the, um, the, track, the community radio I website, you can I don't want to do that. Yeah. Anyway, back on the show. Too many tangents. So we'll be playing track two. No, I'll have a chaos. Track one. Track one. No, no, track no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Track oh, wait, six. track two on the thing. Track six. No, 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 no. Don't play track six. No. Play track um, two. Change the system. Yeah. Just say yeah. the name track of the song. Two, track Yeah. 
Time before the song played, <laughs> like the whole bit where they had an oh, argument about thing, Randy actually. Rose. <laughs> Can we I'm bleep not cutting Randy Rose. I'm leaving everything in. <laughs> we did bleep Randy Rose, so we just don't. If we play one of his songs, what would you suggest? Yeah, name one of his songs. Please, name one. Believer. I want to fucking die. This is what you get. This is all karma, though, because you just stand there and shit on me all the time. You deserve it. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Not literally. If there were no rules, I think he would. I would. <laughs> <laughs> if we weren't what changing the system. <laughs> mm. Alright, so what are your future plans for 2018? 2018, we want to record a song called Tower, which is... some Young people like it, older people... Mm, not so much. Yeah, the, fuck the older people. But I mean, as a, we're going for the younger people anyway, so it's, it's all good. But like, we like the song, so we're gonna we're gonna put that, we're gonna record that soon. So maybe do a video. So, but oh, for yeah. that song, we'd be yeah, yeah, well, yeah, for that song. Yeah. We've been coming up with some ideas for videos, and we've got some. Yeah, you got to see. Yeah. Probably gonna drown Pollard in milk. Yeah, I really want Pollard to do something with milk in a bathtub, and I don't know what yet, but it's gonna. Happen. That's that's weird. It's what we that's discussed. Weird. <laughs> Oh, did you say it's that? your idea. <laughs> it wasn't. You're weird. <laughs> what weird. Is this all your idea? What a weird thing to say. <laughs> so he's naked in a bathroom. No, I never said naked. Like, he's wearing. You, you added the naked part. No, no, I, didn't. Yeah. I just assumed. No, just, no, just, just the cowboy hat. Yeah. Just the cowboy hat. <laughs> Fong. 
You've got, you've got um, Borat. Was it, Man, he's got Man- Mankini. Mankini and he keeps... Let's do that. It's not ever. Mankini in this. the cowboy hat. <laughs> I bought it for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did. He didn't want it. so I Obviously it he didn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Disrespect. That could be a cool music video. Just walk around Cambridge in that. <laughs> that <wouldn't laughs> See how quickly you get arrested. <laughs> yeah. Walk through Kids Park. It's getting at me. Yeah, I mean, did, uh, didn't Blink 182 do that? Just uh, twice. What's my age again? What's that? No, they just run around naked. Yeah. And that's not real. Yeah, but that wasn't real though. Was it not real? Of course it wasn't real. It was just slow motion. <laughs> they were all like... <laughs> the charge is a lie. Blink 182 aren't real. <laughs> <laughs> this is something I wanted to ask you guys. Because obviously you, you are under 18 mm. are we how the hell do you play shows because like every What's fucking like no every oh. every venue is like 18 plus no we've been so how we do you had a problem with it like we, 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 we were headlining a baron the baron and beef <laughs> yeah and then we the got baron we, had, beef. <laughs> we, we all to, turned up <laughs> we all had our stuff and then they were like oh are you guys underage we were like yeah and it's like you can't be here after eight o'clock or nine o'clock because it's on a high street. So, be... <laughs> so we went on first, but then because we went on first, we couldn't play properly because oh, everyone was still in there eating dinner. So, yeah, it was so we did an acoustic yeah. set, and then that was with the it's violent stupid, players. It's stupid, isn't the it? Violent yeah. players because like, they're all over eighteen. Like, it's just ridiculous. Yeah. If you're playing, like, just um, play. Like, oh, it's yeah. so stupid. Because mm. like, but they're all back in my day. <laughs> used to just go to a venue, whatever age, yeah, you'd get a stamp, say you weren't drinking. You know, the venue didn't get shut down. Mm. I mean, they just they just keep saying, it's just the licence. They just say every time, it's just, oh, I can't yeah, do it. It's yeah, the licence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, like, helped, I helped promote a gig at the Blue Moon recently. Mm. And, like, there was about 60 or people there. But about 10 or 15 people got kicked out because they were going around checking ID and all that kind That's of thing. That's all shit. Yeah, I was like, come on. We they, played at the... The, best, they the best fans yeah. are like 16. Yeah, yeah, it's like you're cutting off such a huge... Yeah, but there are like, some venues that are saving it, like the Hunter Club's pretty good, and um, Junction. Junction. The Fiverr's pretty much keeping it alive. Yeah, when we played there, well, there was a 12-year-old band. For yeah, us, Level right? Up. We played Level Up, yeah. Band level Up. Yeah, yeah, but like, with with them, they can't play anywhere, surely. No. Yeah, really. no, yeah no. I mean, we played with yeah, them yeah, with the Golden like, Yeah, played to play Strawberry Fair. But yeah, we played... You play one gig a year. Exactly. Yeah, but they're, they're actually very really good. They actually outplayed us. <laughs> <laughs> the, the guitarist is better than us. Yeah, but he's, <laughs> no, and he's like ten. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of tragic, but you know, we deal with it. We just suck it up. <laughs> so actually, they're the best bands. Who are yeah, but they, they they didn't end the competition. So oh, so the technically they're not. If they Still did, we would. <laughs> you guys, King Crab, level up. Yeah, King Crab's I, quite high up there. <laughs> And Green Day. <laughs> God, you buy one CD. <laughs> it ruins your life. <laughs> God. All right, so let's talk about personal highlights playing with the band this oh, year. None. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just been a down yeah, hill, downward spiral. Good album. It's not. It is. Adam, you start. It's not. What do you mean? What's your highlight? My highlight. Yeah. Oh, I know what mine is. Well, I don't know what mine is, so we we'll go with you first. I know. I remember my highlight was when we played Cambridge Rock Fest, and um, we got, we got rich <laughs> on like litter detail. Oh, that's no, we tried to sneak. Our band is a record, pretty much. Like, criminal what record. happened was, we um, so we were at Strawberry Fair. These three stayed there for the weekend, and I didn't. I came in for the gig for the day, and um, well, Strawberry Fair. No, um, Cambridge, Rock. Cambridge Rock Fest even, and um, okay. I went in. They have the security in the door. They can check on his bags. Like take a bottle of water out, smell it, see if it's water. And I went through, and then Pollard went through after me. The other, these two were in there still, and um, Pollard went in after me. He saw me gym. get my bag searched, and he was like, "Fuck!" And like turned around and ran off. <laughs> so I went through, and naturally I thought, "Oh, he's just going to go and do something." So I ran, ran around the fence, and I said, "You know, chuck it here," because I, I assumed that's what he wanted. To, what the plan was. So yeah. he chucked it over. I caught this bottle of gin, and then um, he, you went off back to the tent or something. Yeah, I walked back And in. then this security guard woman massive, come round, this butch woman was like, do you yeah. think I'm fucking stupid? <laughs> and she took it off us. She took us all into like the the administration tent. Oh, and these two as well, and I don't know why. Yeah. I was watching at the band. There, watching. I was watching Some rock festival. Exactly. Yeah. And what then is, the, the, what we, is the point? Yeah. We all had to get undressed. And then we, we changed our socks. Like, like, There's actually a really good picture of us uh, walking, and then they made us pick litter in the summer heat for like two oh. hours. It's quite fun. This it is was quite fun. There's a picture of us. This is everything that's wrong with. Cambridge yeah, music no. scene. Yeah. I was I was doing it's bullshit. <laughs> I was doing publicity for the band the whole time because they were like they were like, hey, what, didn't you play the other day? And, and they, I, they were like, what are you doing picking up litter? And I was like, alcohol. And, <laughs> and they were like this. Oh, really? And I was like, 
Oh, do you want a business card for a band? No, but then, and then we did a live interview and then we just told them everything that we'd just done. So that was fun. Oh, yeah, on just announcing to everyone live radio. That we were like, it. I, yeah, was nervous. I was nervous. <laughs> I was nervous. This was bearing in mind, we were four, I was still 14. You were still 14. I was still 14. Yeah. We were 14 and then. Um, Oh, my God. Oh, who else is. Oh, do you have a highlight? Yeah. Do you have a highlight? Highlight? Oh, no. Well, like. <laughs> Playing the junction or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's alright. Yeah. My highlight is when um Adam Pollard and James have a fight. Oh my god. <laughs> that's the best thing to watch. <laughs> <laughs> the insults flying. Uh, the funniest best thing I've ever seen is at um the corner house when Adam Pollard just randomly screens the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was good. That was a highlight. Were you actually playing then or did you just yeah. so much? No. <laughs> 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 Was it? it was on Here They Come. And then yeah. I just went. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really plummy no, no, scream. My favourite favorite moment was when we were playing... Um... I've already had yours. <laughs> no. <laughs> my second favourite moment, which I'm sure is yours too, you just forgotten about it, when we were playing the Rock Den and he decided to do this really cool move. <laughs> where he no, just shot up one. And, no, and he, tried to do, he tried to do like a windmill, like round like that, but he just sort of did like a, like a semi like high <laughs> like this. <laughs> He just sort of went like, whoa. You can't really see it on the thing. But he so he did a salute, basically. Pretty much yeah. just a salute. <laughs> Crossed of a wave, and it was it was pretty much like <laughs> he wasn't laughing. He did it with a straight. Face. He thought he was being like Randy Rose. He was like, yeah, yeah. stuck one yeah. arm up and just like hiled the crowd. My life is constant pain. <laughs> yeah. So is there video proof that that happened? I yeah. think there is. Yeah, there is. There is yeah. Very funny. <laughs> you guys, even gonna love or hate this question? Probably hate it. For you, hate your things. I'll hate it. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to start a rumor about yourselves? There's all or, or Maverick. We're um, shit. <laughs> That's not a rumor. Oh, yeah. No, we're good. Adam Pollard got his kneecap removed so he could suck his own toes. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not meant to be true. Oh. oh. oh yeah. yeah, sorry. Oh, no. It's a rumor. <laughs> oh, rumor. It may or may not be true. Oh. Oh, we start a true rumor and then no one believes it's true. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you? Uh, all right, come on. You got to get your own back. James is funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is your chance for revenge. Mm. On a rumour that may or Wait, a rumour about us? Just say anything that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah like individual rumours. Come know. on, Paul, I'd just say something. You're looking straight at me. <laughs> yeah, You're really trying. He's I'm... trying to get inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm an yeah. enigma. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I we think can't... the kneecap thing was pretty. Yeah, that was that was yeah. good. That was alright, yeah. yeah. How many toes do you have? I, mean, I actually have five toes. Wow. On each foot? Or <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half on, on one. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> he does that quite a lot. Uh, we're very sarcastic as a band. No, we know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No one started a rumour about James yet. Just, there's no, too many things. Yeah. I think. Name, name, name one actual rumour then that you've heard about me. That you're boring and moist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, James is he's dry and moist at the same time. Yeah. So that's, that, we came to the conclusion that's, that's the best way to describe them. That's a dry riddle. Moist they say the this to me time. all the time. They're like, oh, you're so, your jokes are so dry, but you act so moist. <laughs> I, apparently, I'm moist because I know how to talk to normal people. Like, you. It's pretty moist. Every, every <laughs> actual interview you've done before now, it's pretty much been him, not, Adam Pitt V, not saying anything. You saying you like Randy Rhodes? Oh, I'm always on <laughs> side. Me saying always and Lewis. then Lewis just says I mean it in a hundred times, and I try and actually. Yeah, you come across too hard. And then you're like, no, "Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, guys. from Maverick." <laughs> but at least I can. Okay. James tries to act like the uh, the mother of the band. He's the he mother of the band. Together, if I like... didn't, if I didn't do the things I do, right? <laughs> if you, I did everything no in this fucking band. <laughs> no one appreciates me. <laughs> do you know the amount of time? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, never, I have a distinct memory, right? We played, we played Strawberry Fair, um, and I, Amy Wilson from the Violet Flares is with us because she came to watch us. So we were, um, we were walking away to get some food from town, and it was me and Amy just walking in front, and then these three were like a good uh, ten meters behind us, just like screaming and like dabbing down the street and just like doing obnoxious things, just going, ah, and just, oh me. <laughs> I don't know, it's just an embarrassment oh, to be with them most of the time. <laughs> Wait, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Do it. Right, bro, do it. Three, two, one, Go do it. Homie. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so shit. Yeah, I know, I said I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I've never Jeez. been able to do a good one. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> she's embarrassed. She sounds so constipated. <laughs> See what I mean? This is just ridiculously immature people. I'm not. I'm not with them. But are we uh, immature? Or are you? Are you just boring? True. Or oh, am I not That's both? The rumor. Both. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> the rumor. That it's I'm... not a rumor. Yeah. <laughs> 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 boring. <clears throat> is James boring? Answers on a postcard. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon. <laughs> he's obviously a nice person though. Let us know oh, in the great. comments. That's the only reason he's here. <laughs> That's pretty much like saying, nice. yeah, she's fat, but she's got a lovely personality. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What beautiful eyes. <laughs> yeah, she's got a lovely, yeah. got a lovely smile. <laughs> we said that like you, don't we? <laughs> Pollard. What? Nothing. Were well, you trying to insinuate there? Hmm. <laughs> We've actually make... held up on the fat jokes for a while now because he's lost weight, so it doesn't really make as much sense, but yeah. we used to make quite a few fat jokes. You've never even you been fat, really. You've never watched fat. Was, it's because he bullied me. Fat. No, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> no, you just played rugby. You, you were pleasantly stocky. plump, okay? <laughs> Voluptuous. Yeah, <laughs> Voluptuous. <laughs> That's our I'm favourite band word. Our favourite band word is even Maybe called the band that. Yeah. Conundrum. Oh, Conundrum. 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 That's a great word. Ra- oh, yeah. Raunchy. I, actually, I didn't know what Shrapnel. raunchy meant. I thought raunchy <laughs> meant energetic. And these girls who are like a year older than us, Violet Flares, yeah, Flares. yeah they came you know band competition after yeah. they played. We had an I got interviewed and they said, "What do you think of the other, of the girl bands?" And this is after we won. And he just and goes, "How this?" I thought I was like, "Oh, they're really, they're really raunchy." <laughs> and, and I was just like, "Sat there." Like, <laughs> and everyone looked to me and laughed. He said, "I was with him." It was just us two, wasn't it? Was yeah, it us? No, it was just, yeah, it was just us two. And he goes, "They're really, they're really," and had a long pause. And I just thought, "Just don't be sexist." <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, "Don't say something <laughs> offensive." And he just goes. Raw, <laughs> and I just fucking broke down. I just thought, I didn't know what it meant. You're we trying to sound clever, saying big words. And yeah, pretty. No, much. I, I literally just, <laughs> the very it just came into my head all the time. So I've, <laughs> I've heard people say girls are raunchy before. I just, I just thought like energetic. Come on, why yeah, would that's they be saying main... sexist? Anyway, Lewis uses big words. He doesn't understand. <laughs> I understand all of the normal them. words, <laughs> except from raunchy. <laughs> that's not even a big word, though. It's literally not. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Moving on. What are your music career goals? Playing certain venues, festivals, or bands you'd want to share the stage with? We'd like to be fairly successful. I mean, <laughs> okay, we'd like, well, no, that's a good start. It's not like we we don't want to be like obviously like we're not saying we're gonna be because I mean it's far far away. But we'd like to be like doing kind of bigger festivals and stuff than Strawberry Fair Forever or something like that. We'd, we'd like to be playing something like. <laughs> 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 We've only played twice. Yeah, we're still. I mean, yeah. it's that's, nice that's we, more than enough. I mean, that's don't the, play again. Twice yeah. is the amount of times we've been together for two years. So we've God, Louis. I told it'd you nice, to turn your phone off. It'd be oh nice God. to move out of Cambridge. Answer you know? it. It's probably your mum. Yeah, put her on. It's not. It, it was. It was just do it. Who? What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that explains the <laughs> trousers. <laughs> the message telling me to kill my wife and children. <laughs> <laughs> He's loving it. He's so enjoyed it. I love him so Even much. if anyone that listens to this doesn't like it, at least we've been like pleased one person. Yeah, we got one. <laughs> yeah, got yeah. Game, every, every single game we do, we, everyone hates us except for one person. <laughs> Which means that's normally how it goes. Yeah, By yeah. fifteen yeah. games, we, we have fifteen fans. We do. Have, yeah, we do have a super fan. Oh now yeah, we've got two super fans. Okay, now. there's. So we don't have any normal fans, obviously, but we've got like one super fan. I don't really want to like out her on it, but well, we, we she, she comes to all the gigs and we I gave, we gave her, we took a picture of us with her at the junction. She's yeah. actually great though. She's yeah. great. She's good. I just she's don't good. understand yeah. why really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Good. What's, what's you just see, you yeah. just don't see yourself in that way. But I mean, as, it's good that someone does because we have a few people who, who actually like our music and that's a good thing, you know. I mean, yeah. I don't really yeah. think against that. Someone someone wants to get pictures of us and stuff. That's that's cool. You know? <laughs> I'm up for that. You sound really sarcastic. I'm not really sarcastic. You just never heard me being positive before. I know because you're never positive. We don't want to attract normal people. Yeah, okay. We hate normal people so much. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Point at me. <laughs> Sorry, James. Can you just, like, fuck off? <laughs> I'm gonna leave. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, should we play another track? What we do you want to play? Should. Here they come. Yeah, here they come. Let's play that. So, oh, here, they, here they come. We went to record this a month ago. 
and it's it's not like our latest stuff. But so like, it's our latest song, but it's also our oldest song. Yeah, yeah. so basically, like, it's from before Maverick even happened. It was like I played it with a band before that, but it's just like yeah, <laughs> <laughs> help him out, it's, help it's him out. Come on. No, yeah, basically, around. yeah, it's it's nostalgic for us. It um, it's just been a, a song with yeah. Maverick for a long time. So it is. I mean, it's really represent song. our new sound. Like, yeah, it's just it's not, one of our old songs. We thought we'd just record now because it's not really space for it on like an EP. Because like, if we recorded an EP, we'd want it to be like representative. So it's a good like in between. Yeah, track, then. sort of. It's just I mean, nostalgic yeah, for us. It doesn't, it doesn't represent us too well, but it's a good. I mean, I like track. it. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I think it sounds good, but it's not like where we go. Yeah. I don't think it's <laughs> long guitar solo. That's why I like it. And you mix my drums like a person. Well, no, we, we <laughs> I didn't mix your drums. No, the I one. I sp- so I spent a quite a substantial amount of time doing like double pedal. To the like, song. Just, all I did was like, one <laughs> double pedal triplet, and that was and all it I wanted. Wank. And it sounded good. So, and then you mix the drums so you can even hear it. So it sounds like I'm playing the most basic shit. But it just doesn't. It didn't sound good when you had it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. You don't understand music. <laughs> no one understands you, James. All right. So, would you like to introduce the song, James? Yeah, James. You got on, James. Am I, or are you just gonna shit on me? Just again? do it. <laughs> <laughs> this song is called "Here They Come."
Should we do like a little intro after the song? Like, but, geez, wasn't that good? No, let's not do it. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that fun? It's like on radio when they just they play your song and they're just like, wow. so. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, that yeah. was Maverick. Wow, here they that come. Was good. That was, <laughs> that was you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, still that, like, I love that. Yeah. Adam likes this song. The rain machine. The rain machine comes in. It's like you standing in like a graveyard. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, fan and fan on my head. November yeah. rain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we got two more questions. Yeah, and that's it. Do you have any advice for aspiring musicians? Don't, Don't do it. Don't <laughs> give up on your dreams. You're not going to go anywhere. Don't have <laughs> I mean, realistically, <laughs> just expect to be dead inside for the next five or so years. Yeah, and to play with people that you hate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. gigs are fun, but like yeah, practices the rest are less fun. Shit. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, gigs were still shit for like the first substantial amount of time I remember I didn't really enjoy playing gigs until after we'd come out of the studio so like after six months of being together because you don't really know the songs that well and you're still kind of like establishing we, we didn't, how to we did. no, no, but I'd never <laughs> performed before then like I pretty much played drums for about like a year year and a half and then started playing with you guys Paul was a tortoise and couldn't get game out. Oh yeah, he would. He would. He never he left like his it. room. He's playing WWE and like doing sadistic, sadistic yeah. things. And now we've room. got you in the dungarees and the. Uh... We've pimped him out. We pimped out our Paulo. We've, we've, we've increased in. his sex appeal. He <laughs> gets so much pussy now. I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> <a> hype man. <laughs> Please come to all our gigs, man. Please. <laughs> <laughs> So we can either do guilty pleasures, so that uh, song's right, that you might not want to admit that you like. Well, I won't admit it then, will I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it's that bad, you genuinely won't admit it. Yeah. Well, you will. I'm not I'll ashamed of anything. Like <laughs> or we can do favourite wrestlers' entrance music. I don't know. No, no. Wrestlers. I know wrestlers. no wrestlers. I don't. I don't watch Rick WWE. Studio. Yeah. I didn't have a TV growing up. You don't have a TV now. Come on, you, you must know. Black I don't Black. have a TV. I know Rey Mysterio and John Cena. You said you yeah. don't know Rey Mysterio. Okay, I know him because I wore the fucking mask on Halloween. I don't know who he is. <laughs> yeah. Alright, you, you watch it then. Oh uh, yeah, I used to. I was going to go... <laughs> right, to, stop trying to sound cool. We, well, we all like wrestling here. <laughs> nah, Apart from these two. Right. We're losers. Okay, maybe I still watch it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I do like it. Um, I'd have to say, it's either The Edge, because of... Uh, Gay. Wait, he, <laughs> <laughs> I get told I look like him. Just, it's just because I had long hair. Mm. You're too, like way it. too scrawny to be any yeah. wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving that thin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> mate. Your next, your next for Rod. Yo, CM Punk. CM Punk. C- nah. It's like, yeah. Cult of Personality by, what's the name? Living Colour. Living Colour. It's mm-hmm. amazing. Nice one. Love that song. And his old one was good as well. The Kill Switch Engage song. You heard that one? Don't know what they're talking no. about. Like this. Che- know check, it yeah. check it out. Check it out. I quite like the Undertaker song as well. Dong. Dong. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do our guilty pleasures because we don't know wrestlers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guilty pleasures for you two. Um, I think <laughs> that kill me. I heard a mashup of um, Crocodile Rock and Chop Suey. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no, best thing I've ever heard. And it was... <laughs> <laughs> so System of a Down in Elton John. Yeah. yeah. They take the vocal. It's cool. the funniest they video I've seen in my life. <laughs> what about Slipknot and the Wiggles? <laughs> <laughs> nah, there's no... no wait, that's, that's just terrible, but like... No, I mean like... Crocodile Rock... And Chop Suey is a really good it song. Actually worked. I, I don't care yeah, what people really say is. about it. It's my guilty pleasure, but I really, I, I actually put it on my playlist and I play it sometimes and just no, it see if people really know works, it. It really works though. Yeah, they did a good it job. Really it really works well. Is that on like YouTube or something? Wake up, grab yeah. a little mush and put on makeup. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally that's how it sounds. You sound like Marge Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> like I have all pretty much all my songs are guilty pleasures. I just want to know how, how Green bad day. it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I like American idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's worth ruining my reputation anymore. I think you've already done that it's You fine. haven't got any <laughs> um, My biggest guilty pleasure song Something by Alex Monkeys That was so anticlimactic Yeah <laughs> no, I don't know Like, like I, uh, We're talking proper cheese Oh yeah. um, Probably Jesse's girl Jesse <laughs> <laughs> Wait you, you, uh, I, Do I, you I, believe in love by Cher <laughs> <laughs> Oh It's amazing <laughs> I like I like every single meme song and I'm unashamed of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 
Tell yeah. me it's a tankagen. It's a, it's that's, that's a tune. It has a good actually, melody with a nice... Is that the new one or the like, original one? It's the original one. Has it changed? I haven't watched it. Okay, when, when did you last watch it? Because well, uh, you're quite young than me, so... Well, when I watched it, it was different. <laughs> well, you had the um, Ringo Starr did it, didn't you? Yeah! I love Ringo Starr. <laughs> it is a good theme tune, though, because it's a... It's a du, 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 that note yeah. there, you don't it's expect really it, play. but it sounds great. <laughs> we, we tried to learn it. It was one of the first ones we learned as a band. We also know the Spongebob theme song, That's yeah. for some reason. Only the last one. The, the, um, the cutscene one. Because <laughs> we, we were like, oh, let's learn it in case we have Three technical weeks difficulties. Three later. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I love that meme. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's the, that's the end of the interview. Oh, Jesus Thank you to my guest Maverick for coming. <laughs> can you cut? Can you cut out the shit? <laughs> yeah, uh, he's gonna have about five seconds yeah. worth of stuff. You've given me a lot of work to do. <laughs> <Okay>. Right. <laughs> yeah. So where <laughs> where can everyone? Break- <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that in. Just that. <laughs> Why are you in this band? You're such a wild card. <laughs> like every tenth thing you say is fucking hilarious. <laughs> also disturbing. Where can everyone follow you on social media? Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, SoundCloud. How though? Do- iTunes. There's so many other Mavericks. Give them the details. On are we Facebook. Even on SoundCloud. Yeah, we are. Uh, he, he is. No, we are. No, we are. I'm on, on SoundCloud. Oh, you're I'm taking, you're taking it down. Earlier. That was. Yeah. Um. So on Facebook, <laughs> we are. Well, we're Maverick on Facebook, but I think you can find us by going to We Are Maverick forward slash We Are Maverick. Yeah, 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 one word We Are Maverick. Yeah, yeah. and And then then, um, there's Instagram, Insta. It's like Maverick Band underscore. It's not underscore one. It's underscore underscore. Maverick Band underscore. Okay, well it's probably one of them. Yeah, is that? Uh, Links we have will a website. be in the description. Yeah. We have a yeah, website. We yeah. What is the website still? Oh, the website is yeah Maverickband.co. No, okay. no, you can, we, couldn't, we couldn't afford the UK. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, follow Local Distortion on Facebook, we're on Twitter, Instagram, we do loads of behind-the-scenes stuff <laughs> sometimes. And yeah, we have t-shirts for sale as well, so mm. buy the t-shirts, support the channel. Yeah, and that's it. I like the t-shirts. How much are they? £12. £12. £12. Yeah, £12. £12. Hmm. You can buy two of our EPs for that. No, you can't. All right. Or, <laughs> what are you, you trying can't. to say? <laughs> what are the <laughs> trying to say I'm charging too much. Or you can just get it for free on SoundCloud or Spotify or iTunes. Yeah, we'll just download it at Pirate Bay. <laughs> we're not, we're not Pirate Bay. We're not going to be Pirate Bay. <laughs>